Hi, my name is Joni, holistic health teacher, coach, and consultant. Today, with your willingness to receive, I'm honored to be your guide into deep nature. This involves going deep in general into the mind and body, which can be uncomfortable, much like pushing ourselves athletically deep into nature, but eventually it does serve us well. I've pushed my boundaries again and again as an avid outdoor adventurer and lifelong athlete, high in the mountains and surfing many oceans. Later, translating that to deep into the mind-body connection on my yoga mat, finding my way to surf mentally and emotionally each day, eventually realizing that everything is connected. I like to say that we must go out to go within, and we must go within to efficiently and effectively go out into the world. Consistently in awe of big deep nature and what it has given me after moving myself up and out of a less than healthy environment into a very pristine one at the young age of 22, I've come to appreciate this more and more. I had not a clue as to what I was doing at the time other than deeply trusting my gut on where I needed to go and what I needed to do in order to make shifts happen and ultimately find more freedom. While we can geek out and find all of this so-called you know, life hacks out there toward health and well-being, no one can teach us better how to thrive, even in the worst conditions, than nature. Nature knows. Nature also mirrors back to us how small we really are, how insignificant most of our problems really are, and how it's much more important to focus on our well-being so that we can better support others. But equally taking the focus off of ourselves, taking a step back and cultivating the ability to put ourselves in another's shoes is the way forward. I won't waste any more of your time waxing poetic, and I won't go into the deep science behind all of this at this time. We don't need to be philosophers or doctors or neuroscientists to do what is best for ourselves and our families. Most of us are too busy for all of that and just need some guidance and a neutral sounding board. So with your willingness to receive, I'm honored to guide you into deep nature. I do believe there are ways, even in a city park versus high in a mountain range, to drop deep into nature. So go on, get off of your computer, and go outside. There's part one of your challenge. Every day, make time to go outside. Part two of this challenge is also pretty key. If you're in a warm enough climate, take your shoes off and put your bare feet on the ground for at least 30 minutes. Science is now backing that this earthing or grounding process absolutely supports us in countless ways. We wear rubber shoes and live in houses separated from the ground and have become completely disconnected from the nutrients we naturally receive from nature by simply going outside, breathing the air, swimming in the waters, and walking through the trees on the earth. Check out the book Earthing as Clinton Ober, who was an electrician actually, made this amazing discovery that I have implemented since its publishing in 2014 and have shared with all of my clients as well. It really can be this simple. As I always say, humans often make things much more difficult and costly for that matter than they really need to be. With that, there is no one magic recipe. There is no magic pill. We all have to find a mix of things that work for us wherever we are today. This too will shift with time, so we must learn to let go and ebb and flow just like nature. It is my belief that she really is our greatest teacher. If this video resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate your time and energy. Have a lovely day.